this video I'm going to show you the difference between the Gen 1 and Gen 2 ball bearing shafts for the precision turbos. I'm also going to answer the question. The question is, are journal bearing and ball bearing turbine shafts the same for the precision 62-62? And I guess you could say, are they the same? It would be a separate question. Are they the same for the 62-66, 64-66? Well, in this video, I'm going to cover all that information. So this is the Gen 1. The Gen 1 was smaller here than a journal bearing turbine shaft. The back side is staggered for the cage. So this fit. This is a GT37R. On Precision's Gen 1, they use the GT37R specs of the shaft, and they use the GT37R cage from Garrett. The turbine on this, it's, it's a P-Trim turbine. This one is, but Precision also had different variations. This is about probably 10 years ago when they were doing this. And so this has all, all been dealt away with, but I do have the parts to still fix these. And so what they did in gen, with the Gen 1s, they wanted to convert it over to journal bearing. They had special journal bearings made that would go on to the ball bearing shaft to make it work for a journal bearing turbo. The specs on these bearings is that the front one is a little bit tighter than the normal TO4E bearing and the back one, it just is staggered inside so it fits on both staggers. Now on the Gen 2's, well first let me explain, on the Gen 1's it was a mixture. Some of them you would find like this and then some of them you would find a normal TO, that used normal TO4E journal bearings. So you never knew what you were going to get a lot of the times. But if you do need the rebuild kit parts I have plenty of these style bearings and if I have enough interest I'll link to them in the description box and I can also include it with a complete rebuild kit. So you have all the parts you need to rebuild that turbo. The Gen 1 used TO4E seals, which is also the same front and same piston ring seals as the Power Stroke 73. And then the TO4E, this is I mean, the Gen 2. So when they went in Gen 2, what they did was they dealt away with the Garrett cage and then they replaced that with a cage that would fit the journal bearing turbine or the journal bearing shaft. So they changed the dimension on the cage rather than changing the dimension on the journal bearings. So the TO4E journal bearings will fit this shaft. Basically what it is is it's a journal bearing turbine shaft that normally came in the journal bearing TO4E turbochargers. But what they wanted to do this time, instead of making the ball bearing shafts work for the journal bearing, they made the journal bearing shafts work for the ball bearing cage that they had. Now, the reason they did this to begin with, the first time they may have done it for different reasons, but they're doing this so that they don't have to have two different shafts to make two different turbos, to make ball bearing or journal bearing. You could have one shaft and then that way it cuts the cost drastically because the expense of stocking two different style shafts with the same turbine wheel. It makes sense because you don't have to spend as much money out to have the same parts in inventory and it cuts out the confusion now I know it's confusing with the video and everything because the difference is that they changed all this stuff. But so with the ball bearing shaft for the Gen 2s, it's made to work as if you had it put or if you're putting a journal bearing turbine shaft in there. The Gen 1s, it was a normal ball bearing GT37R shaft. The cage is the same for the 40R and the 42R too. But the difference in those series is that once you went past the 37R, they changed this area of the shaft. So you can't use those shafts to upgrade it. And this area has changed for the shaft bore. So that's a completely different video in, in itself. 
and the, and the piston rings were the same for the 40R and then the 42R were different. I think they were different again in the 42R series. If you haven't seen my video on Gen 1 versus Gen 2 precision turbos, I recommend that you watch that. I go over the difference in the bearing housings and how to tell how to tell which one's Gen 1 and Gen 2. This one's Gen 2, it's got the air fins. This one's Gen 1. Now, I think some people might get confused in the difference of Gen 1 and Gen 2 because some of them actually had the different style shaft where it's got the sweat blades. But, and they were the sweat blade, some of the sweat blades were in the Gen 1s, but they also still had the staggered shaft. They just weren't the like the genuine Garrett ones. Like, see, this one, it's it's got the straight blades. So, it's a little bit different in, in the way it looks, but it's actually still Gen 1. It's almost like they had a Gen 1, but then they slightly revised it before they went to Gen 2 so that they had the sweat blades. And then some of those turbines, it's like you, you can't get replacements for unless you want to spend quite a bit of money. And I just don't think it's worth it. Now, as far as the ball bearing cage replacements, I have them for the Gen 1, and that's because I use these to rebuild the Garrett turbos. For the Gen 2, I just don't really like the cages, and the reason being is because it's not a true press fit, but with the Gen 1, it's a true press fit. You can't use the Gen 1 cage on the Gen 2, and then the, so the Gen 2, the things I don't like about it is because the size of the shaft is all the way the same all the way through and because of that uh well it's just not that much of a tight fit it will slide in there and you don't have to press it in and as a result of that i've seen some that had problems but some didn't the problems that they had based on what i've seen is that the front one seems to do okay like staying on there but the back one, sometimes I think the heat gets to it, and I think it expands the sleeve. And then the shaft is no longer spinning the sleeve. It's spinning inside the sleeve and wearing out clearance between the, the sleeve and the shaft, which causes a big problem because it's not using the ball bearings anymore. And then when it wears out from that, you have to get a new cage and potentially a new shaft. And I don't have replacement cages for the Gen 2 as of now, but it's one thing we were working on, but then it's like we kind of just forgot about it, I guess. But so with the Gen 2, if you want to get a cage, uh, I had somebody talk to Precision and then they said that they said they wanted $400 just to replace the Gen 2 cage. I felt like it was more of a problem to deal with. I think it makes sense to convert it over to something different. If you've seen my channel before, you can see other options that I have converted them over to. I do have one that is like, I think it's called 6262 uh, Turbo Rebuild Options. If you want options on the rebuild and conversion, I would recommend that you check that out. I also have a video on converting it over to ball bearing for the GT35R. But I make it in such a way that you could still have that bigger turbine shaft. We go to a 67 millimeter turbine, and then the compressor we go to a 66. So it's like a 66, 67, and uh, that's just basically to make it a better ball bearing design. Well, that's all for this video. I hope you guys got plenty of good information out of it, and it helped you explain to you the difference between the two. If you need the rebuild kits for either one, if you're uh, rebuilding the precision turbos, I recommend you go and watch that other video, 62, I mean, Gen 1 versus Gen 2. That has all the links to buy the rebuild kits that do come from us. So check that out if you need it.